Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. I hope that you are ready for your weekend. So stay blessed, embrace everything, and better things are coming your way. I already feel it. So uh, if anybody is new coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning selves, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for being there. I mean, y'all have been with me the long way. Y'all have just supported me. Y'all have been, you know, dropping the comments and sending uh, beautiful vibes for me. It's greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you are, you know, uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if, also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even just for somebody who, you know, is truly going through some things and empath, whatever, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I'm gen generally welcome. Uh, generally thankful, that's what I meant to say. And um, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, I don't know what it is for the last, I think this is like my fifth or sixth video. It's like lights have been shooting across the screen and it's just been so crazy. And like I said, it's like the sun ain't barely out. It's been raining, but it feels good outside now. Um, but the video I'm listening to today is a beautiful meditation. It's called Good Night Music, Calming Sleep Music. 432 hertz manifest your dreams deep sleep music and i will post that link in the description box below and my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas no great mind has ever existed while without a touch of madness i seen this post yesterday i was like hello i love that because you know what a hey oka represents all that because we got a little madness in us we're the tricksters we're the jokers the late uh what is it like coda fam Locate, uh, local Coda tribe. That's what I meant to say. You know, we, we're all filled with that because some people look at us just by the things that pop out of our mouth. Like, did they really just say that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Because it's just like we go through things and we we're we're able to share our story, being open. You know, and I feel like anytime you can be open to the darkness that you have really been through and knowing you are coming over it, I know it's a hard thing to go through every day trust me but just for the fact of you being able to put your story out there because you never 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 know what people are going through what they're struggling with where they feel in the mind of their prison is in that state at that time and we're we're coming through something so great you know we get tested every day you're going through so many different shifts every day which can make you damn crazy anyway anyway so you're going through all these things and I mean it is just like when you can I mean it's just lately I don't know what it is but it's like the shift that I'm doing I don't know if it's like because of the shift but me being more open with you keeping it real all the time I try to be 250 percent if I can be more real than that I try to get real deal holy feel because it's just the fact that it's not like I tell y'all every day is not going to be a good day for me I always try to push out positivity, but I can't be positive all the time because, like, we go through things all the time. I don't want to be that negative Nancy that's going through things and always constantly talking about negative stuff unless I'm putting out a positive response from it. You know, we can always go through something negative and then use it as a positive step stone to be able to use to go through our things, being able to heal, being able to let go, being able to acknowledge the things that we have gone through. It's never good to sit up here and constantly dwell on your mistakes. You know, mistakes are supposed to be mistakes that you learn from. You live, you learn. And it's just like we can overlook, I mean, oh, I mean, not overlook, but constantly do these, you know, keep constantly going through the same thing in our head. It's like we push it on repeat. But being able to form the way we are, I mean, we're going through these things. 
and like any other normal person that can experience the things we experience I mean they probably wouldn't live through that you know so it's just like you know you're, you're that renegade you're like that Mad Max you know we, we go a little crazy sometimes you know and it's just like when you look up at hell because what are they they're tricksters they're jokesters Got to you know because if I anytime I think about a joker I think about Jack Nicholson I think about Heath Ledger all these great people that played the Joker, they, they, you know, after they did those, those, uh, you know, um, those roles, you know, and God rest Heath Ledger's soul, that is my, you know, I got a picture of him in my room, and it's like, I got a whole bunch of dead people in my other room, it's just like, but they're, you're like my spirit guides or whatever, and it's just like being able to deal with something like that, you know, it's just like a character that has this compelling role that they really, you know, they really got to get into that character and they never come out the same after that. And that's pretty much how our lives are being able to do that, you know, and it's just like no successful person is ever, you know, it's just like when people are successful, they say, how do you become successful? They're keeping it really real with you. They'll tell you about my mistakes, my failures, you know, success never came from success. Success came from failures because you, you have gone through so many things. You might've, thought you had it all figured out with your with your uh purpose in life you're going through all these things that's the reason why people losing these jobs left and right after you go through these spiritual awakenings i'll put a post out it's like oh you went through a spiritual awakening y'all lost your job y'all lost all your friends your family think you're crazy you know welcome to paradise you know we go through all these different things our lives are shaking up so they can make people a little crazy it can make us a little uptight you know so but we're gonna come out great we're gonna come out the fire not even smelling like smoke not even being burnt you know you're gonna dish yourself off and keep it moving so it's just like you're gonna be great you're gonna heal you're gonna come out stronger you know stronger on that battlefield than any other person nobody gonna be able to tell you nothing you're gonna be acting brand new like shoot you can't tell me that now i've been through this this and this and this and that got the decal got the license plate and the daggone t-shirt what you say you know doing all these different things so it's just like when i saw that i busted out laughing i said if that don't stand for us i don't know what does you know because it's like when i i can hear the things that y'all tell me i'm like are you serious you know i'm already going through the stuff i'm going through because mine is just like a tone dropper like i can drop the mic and you like what wait a minute hold up what she just say you know so that's a blessing i love the way things pop out especially coming from my community like i always tell y'all i love it when you can find a twin flame video or infj video or indigo uh white witch whatever and then when you pop out and see the reason why i started doing videos they were like wait a minute what <laughs> are you serious you know i even had people say that or some of them just like oh okay you know it really is not a you know a jaw dropper for them but, you know, we have to go through something mad to be able to shake stuff up, be able, be able to get people's attention, being able to know, dang, I, I want to be like them when I grow up, you know? So it's just like, you you know, you need to give yourself that pat on the back, knowing that you're going to be that successful empath. You, you're going to be that top-notch Hayoka, hey, Oka, I was like, hey, Oka. Hey, Oka. knowing that we're going to go through things that are going to be a little crazy and out of tone for people you know it's like we were the uncouthful tribe you know because it's just like when y'all be saying stuff to me especially if you're on one-on-one -on -one, there's sometimes i don't laugh at y'all and i know y'all laugh at me because i say some crazy stuff i even say some crazy stuff on these videos and i just really don't care but it, it's just like people don't look at us like we're crazy because it's just like you know we say stuff that will catch people off guard and stuff like that so it, it's just like don't feel like you wonder why you don't fit in you're not supposed to fit in you know you pose you know you don't feel like you belong because you're not supposed to belong you supposed to be that one that sticks out from the crowd be that sore thumb that stick out so you know congratulate yourself uplift yourself because you're you know you starting to see things in more of a bigger light a bigger picture you knowing that you had to go through the things you had to go through to get to where you had to get so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Drop me a line and let me know. You know, the greatest things come. You know, the great, what did I say? No great mind ever existed without a touch of madness. Because we, boy, there's not a lot of people that can walk through the playground of our mind. Because, shoot, I said, with well, mine, you, you might need therapy for like a few years after that. I'm told people, please don't test my crazy.
<laughs> don't test my crazy because i said you go walk around in my daggone playground you might need some therapy after that your crazy might not top mine you know i've had people try me like that i said please don't test my crazy don't do that i'll buck at them i ain't got time but anyways i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend you know you know cut cut loose whatever y'all got turn up what you know my kids say turn up turn up go ahead and do all these things but be safe be responsible for everything you do send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can be safe as well like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and share the video and treasure seasons silky j86 and Lyra, I think that is, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, 1966, much love to you, many blessings, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, know that y'all are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's me and other people praying for your better days, and I'll see you on my next video, much love, peace, and be wild.